Hi, I'm Khadija Cole, leasing professional for The Gantry. We have partnered with Cotton and Reed to create a custom cocktail, not for just our residents, but for everyone to enjoy. Jordan Cotton, owner of Cotton and Reed, is here today to show us the best way to enjoy this refreshing cocktail. Hey everybody, I'm Jordan Cotton, co-founder of Cotton and Reed Distillery, just two blocks up from the gantry. We are DC's first ever rum distillery and we make uh, five different rums from scratch uh, just around the corner from you guys. Today we're going to go through making two different rum cocktails. One is going to be a passion fruit ginger mule that we formulated just for the gantry residents and the other will be a rum old fashioned using our PX Dark Rum. So to start off the passion fruit mule, you're going to take one ounce of the passion fruit mule mix that we have formulated and the gantry has uh, gifted all of the residents. One ounce, or if you don't have a, a jigger here for measuring handy, you can use two tablespoons, that's an ounce. And you're going to take one ounce of cotton and reed white rum which is perfect for light crushable summery drinks such as this. So just equal parts of those two. And you're going to top with a bit of club soda. We've got all the ginger, all the acidity, all the passion fruit flavor that you need in that syrup. And then you're just going to top with some ice. And you're ready to go. For our second rum cocktail, we're going to make a rum old fashioned with our PX Dark Rum, which is aged in New American oak barrels for a year and a half to two years before we finish it off in some Pedro Jimenez sherry seasoned casks. And then we add a little bit of molasses before bottling. So you're going to start off with two ounces of PX Dark Rum. We're going to add just a quarter ounce of simple syrup, which if you don't have on hand, you can make by combining equal parts sugar and water and just shaking those up, whisking them up, whatever you got to do to incorporate. And then you're going to add a little bit of Angostura bitters, which is a home bar must have. Uh, we'll do three dashes here. Throw in a few nice ice cubes. And then stir it up a little to combine, chill and dilute. If you don't have a fancy bar spoon like this, that's fine. Whatever you have on hand will do. And garnish with lemon, probably using a, a little bit of lemon peel at home. Thank you everyone for joining us. Until next time, cheers.